today in this video we will learn how to represent a number on abacus abacus an abacus is an instrument or device for counting and knowing the place value of each digit in a number now look at the abacus shown here it has five spikes showing ones tens hundreds thousands and ten thousands here o means ones t means tens h means hundreds th means thousands t th means ten thousands as you can see each spike is having some beats so in this we can count the beats from right to left now count the beats of one place spike 1 2 so it consists two beats now count the beats of tens place spike 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it consists seven beats now count the beats of hundreds place spike 1 2 3 4 so it consists four beats now count the beats of thousands place spike 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it consists eight beats now count the beats of 10000s place spike 1 2 3 4 5 5 so the exact number is 58472 now represent the number on a spike abacus number is 567 first step is to draw spike abacus as you can see a number consists three digits so we need to draw three spikes 1 2 3 then represent the place value ones tens and hundreds as you can see at ones place digit is 7 so we will draw seven beats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 at tens place digit is 6 so we will draw six beats 1 2 3 4 5 6 at hundreds place digit is 5 so we will draw five beats 1 2 3 4 five now represent the number in words that is 567 now see an another example number is 3257 again first step is to draw spike a baker's as you can see a number consists four digits so we need to draw four spikes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then represent the place value ones tens hundreds thousands at ones place digit is 7 so we will draw seven beats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at tens place digit is 5 
so we will draw five beads one two three four five at hundreds place digit is two so we will draw two beads one two at thousands place digit is three so we will draw three beads one two three now represent the number in words that is three thousand two hundred fifty seven now see an example of five digits number is sixty nine thousand four hundred eighty two again first step is to draw spike a baker's as you can see a number consist five digits so we need to draw five spikes 1 2 3 4 then represent the place value ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands at ones place digit is Two, so we will draw two beads. One, two. At tens place, digit is eight. So we will draw eight beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At hundreds place, digit is four. So we will draw four beads. One, two, three, four. At thousands place, digit is nine. So we will draw nine beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At ten thousands place, digit is six. So we will draw six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now represent the number in words. That is sixty-nine thousand four hundred eighty-two. Now the next question is to write the number represented on the abacus. So in this we will count the beads. As you can see, at ones place two beads are given. So ones place digit is two. At tens place three beads are given. So tens place digit is three. At hundreds place four beads are given. So hundreds place digit is four. Now the number is four hundred thirty-two. Now see an another example of write the number represented on the abacus. So in this, at ones place three beads are given. So ones place digit is three. At tens place one beat is given. So tens place digit is. One. At hundreds place, two beats are given. So hundred place digit is two. At thousands place, five beats are given. So thousands place digit is five. Now the number is five thousand two hundred thirty. Now it's practice time. worksheet is given in the description box so go and check it thank you